my name is Samantha Holstein and I'm a developer advocate at Comunda. Today I am super excited to talk about my new favorite addition and feature from the 8.5 release, the official support of the Node.js SDK. The Node.js SDK is a powerful client that you can use to deploy and start processes from your Node application. Let's first talk a little bit about the background of the Node.js client. This open source client was created by a Kamunda employee around six years ago, and it's been a community project since then. It was quickly adopted into internal Kamunda teams like the Desktop Modeler, Operate, and the Kamunda SaaS teams, and our developer experience team has been working on developing the ZB client into a full SDK, and the hard work has been achieved with this release. So, now that we have some history of the SDK, let's take a look at our documentation to see what we can do with this SDK. The Kamunda documentation features a comprehensive quick guide start for both self-managed and SaaS, detailing step-by-step -step on how to quickly get started and learn how to use the SDK. And this is helpful if you're wanting a guide on where to start with deploying your application in Node because there is already an entire working version on GitHub. So you can see here, you're able to dive into everything from the self-managed and SAS configurations here. And then the guide takes you through using the SDK, deploying a process model, creating a service worker, creating a human task worker, creating a process instance, and then retrieving a process instance. With this, you are able to have that very small example to look back on as you are integrating this SDK with your own Node application. And at the bottom of this application, there is also a link to the complete API documentation for setting up your Node project with Kamunda. Looking at this API documentation, we can really dive into the options that we may want to use while deploying our own Node application, like OAuth, maybe even debugging, and then of course, the properties for the API clients for Modeler, Operate, Optimize, and Task List. And then, of course, the Kamunda 8 class, which encapsulates all of the clients as one single facade. This client has been widely used by developers in Kamunda's community who have not only leveraged its capabilities, but also actively contributed through feature requests, issue reports, and pull requests, showing the testament to the collaborative spirit of our community. It is so exciting to now have official support. I will be talking more about the Node SDK in upcoming tutorials soon, so keep an eye out. But in the meantime, be sure to take a look at both the Getting Started documentation and the full API documentation. And, of course, sign up for a free Kamunda SaaS account and try the client out. I hope you are as excited as I am about Kamunda's 8.5 release and the official Node.js client.